morning students welcome to chemistry class today i am going to be discussing about from the chapter 8 d and the black elements d and the black elements so here d and the black elements that is electron configuration of transition elements so what is the electron configuration of transition elements so the general electron configuration the general outer electron configuration of these elements is n minus 1 d 1 2 10 ns 122 ns 122 so here n minus 1d stands for inner cell d orbitals inner cells d orbitals so the inner cell d orbitals may have 1 to 10 electrons which may have which may have 1 to 10 electrons okay na so here ns and n minus 1d ns and n minus 1d so ns is the outermost cell ns is the outermost cell so outermost last proton that is the n minus 1 means that is also called penultimate cell that is also called penultimate cell okay so this is n s this is n minus 1 okay so the energy differences between energy differences between n s and n minus 1 d a little energy difference a little a little energy differences so that's why that have a so many exceptions are there in the generalization of n minus 1 to 1 to 10 minus 1 to 2 okay so there are several exceptions are there so however this generalization has several exceptions because of, because of very little energy differences between n minus 1 and ns orbitals so that's why here so that's why here some elements the elements prefer to preferably electrons enter into d orbitals preferably electrons enter into d orbitals comparatively s orbital comparatively s orbital okay so we have to see we have to see electrons outermost electron configuration of the outermost electron configuration of the d block or transition elements so we have how many series are there four series are there that is how many series are there four series are there that is 3d series 4d series 5d series and 6d series 6d series so 3d series 3d series what is 3d series from scandium to zinc from scandium to zinc okay now from scandium to zinc these metals are called 3d series elements 3d series elements so here here this is the atomic number starting from the 21 to 30 21 22 23 24 25 25 25 25 26 27 28 29 30 so scandium titanium iridium chromium manganese iron cobalt nickel copper zinc copper zinc so here we have to see the electron configuration of this one scandium 3d1 4s2 3d2 4s2 3d3 4s2 3d5 4s1 3d 3d 5 4s2 3d 6 4s2 3d 7 4s2 3d 10 3d 8 4s2 3d 10 4s1 3d 10 4s2 so copper and chromium copper and chromium so actually this is manganese chromium 3d 4 4s2 instead of this 3d5 4s1 instead of 3d5 3d4 4s2 okay now so that is have extra stability for the of field orbitals so that's why that is preferably enter into d orbitals enter into d orbitals so here also 3d10 4s1 actually first 4s2 3d9 4s2 3d9 but here this shows 3d10 4s1 okay so so many exceptions are there we have to observe all these we have to observe in this we have to so that is so many exceptions are there that is depend on the that is depend on the nature of the element nature of the element so that's why the electrons configuration so some exceptions are there some exceptions are there okay so when we have to see third three four series atrium to cadmium atrium to cadmium 39 to 48 and here also 4d1 4d2 okay 4d4 4d2 4d4 so this is some exceptions are there and 4d5 
5 s 5 4 d 5 5 s 5 ok and uh, here also some exceptions here 4 d 10 5 s 0 palladium 46 palladium 46 here 4 d 10 5 s 0 4 d 10 5 s 1 4 d 10 5 s 2 so this is some exceptions are there some exceptions are there ok now then another one thing is here Lathana Lathana d 1 d 2 d 3 d 4 d5, d6, d7 so 8, actually 8 is there but uh, 9 is there the, for the stability for the stability purpose uh, however the metallic property the nature of the element that is some differences are there so we have to see all these differences you may uh, understood the that is maybe that is maybe depend on the nature of the element that is depend on the nature of the elements ok so the half half and completely filled set of d orbitals set of d orbitals set of d orbitals are more stable more stable ok now half and completely filled set of orbitals or set of d orbitals are more stable so that's so why here suppose chromium electron configuration is 3d5 4s1 instead of 3d4 4s2 3d4 4s2 so that's why this is the most stable electron configuration so that is the that's why this is show the electron configuration 3d5 4s1 3d4 3d5 4s1 and another one copper copper skew copper so this is also electron configuration 3d10 4s1 3d10 4s1 this is also completely filled so that's why this is also uh, show the extra stability extra stability instead of 3d9 4s2 3d9 4s2 ok now so this is the some electron configuration of the electron configuration of the d block or transition elements d block or transition elements ok now so now we are going to the now we are going to the general properties of d and f block elements general properties of d and f block elements in that first one is the physical properties physical properties first one is physical properties so here almost almost all the transition elements almost all the transition elements display the metallic properties metallic properties almost all the transition elements all these transition elements all these transition elements from 3d 3d series scandium to zinc 4d series yttrium to cadmium 5d series lanthanum hafnium and lanthanum and hafnium to mercury and 60d series actinium and rutherfordium to copper mesium copper mesium so all these all these all these has display typical metallic properties displays me typical metallic properties such as the metallic properties such as high tensile strength high tensile strength strongness high tensile strength strongness and ductil ductility and ductility when we made it yeah, that is made into tin sheets, tin sheets, and malleability, malleability. We can then now uh, made into made into uh, long wires, long wires. Ductility and malleability. So we can made a uh, tin sheets, tin sheets, and we can made a long wires, long wires. Okay. Then another one is high thermal and electrical. And electrical, electrical conductivity, thermal and electrical conductivity. So these are these transition elements. Transition elements conduct the thermal energy and electrical energy. Conduct thermal energy and electrical energy. So we have to generally uh, for the electrical purpose we have to uh, use almost all silver. Use almost all silver and our uh, carbon. Okay, so so high thermal and electrical electrical conductivity. So another one is a metallic cluster, metallic cluster. So almost all these these are these almost all almost all the elements shows luster nature. Means that gives a shining, that gives a shining nature, that gives a shining nature. So these are the some uh, metallic properties, some metallic properties. And we are going to the next melting points and boiling points. Metallic points and boiling points and atomization energy. Atomization energy. Okay. So uh, we are going to the next one for the 
minus 1. So here we have to see the structure and the melting points and boiling points of the transition elements. So here first metal the lattice structures, lattice structures. So lattice structures of uh, these transition elements, lattice structures of these transition elements, except except all the transition elements can show, all the transition elements can show except the zinc, cadmium and mercury and manganese mercury and manganese they have one or more typical metallic structures typical metallic structure at normal temperatures at normal temperatures ok so one or more typical metallic structures and these have zn, cadmium zn, zn, cadmium mercury and Hg and manganese. So these are shows more than one metallic structures. More than one metallic structures. So why? Because uh, that is that is extra stability elements Zn, Cd, Hg and Mn. So these are these are not uh, given to the transition elements. Not the transition elements. So that's why these metallic body in the in the met in the in the what is in the what is so weaker bonds are present weaker bonds are present so that's why that forms so many structures so many structures so that is that we have uh, sometimes non metallic structures also okay and another thing is uh, another thing is these are very hard and binding points and melting points, boiling points and melting points. So all these elements, all these elements means D, block or transition elements have hard, hard and melting and boiling points are very high. Melting and boiling points are very high. So melting and boiling points are very high and so that's why that's why the show that uh, the graph we have to show the melting points of different transition elements in 3D series in the series of different series of transition elements so this is the 3d series this is the 3d series so titanium vanadium chromium manganese and iron cobalt nickel iron cobalt this is palladium nickel platinum okay platinum then nickel nickel so another one is iron uh, another one is copper. Another one is copper. Okay. So, cobalt, iron, cobalt, nickel, iron, cobalt, iron, cobalt, nickel. Okay. So, so, so this is for this. This is for this. Okay. So, copper, cobalt, nickel, iron, cobalt, nickel. Okay. Copper, zinc. Copper, zinc. So this is have this is have low melting points, low melting points. So, this is increasing melting points here. This is atomic number, atomic number in a series of the period. And uh, so another one. This is for this series: zirconium, niobium, and molybdenum, uh, technetium, rhodium, rhodium, platinum, and palladium. And last one is gold. Gold. And another one is this is 5D series: Ophnium, Tantalum, Tantalum, Tungsten, Rhenium, Osmium, Iridium, Platinum. Iridium, Platinum. Okay. So Iridium, Platinum. So this is here silver. This is here silver. So this is not here only. And another thing is here. Another one thing is uh, this is. 3D, 4D, and 5D series. 5D series. So melting points, melting points 5D and 4D. 4D and 5D series have more melting points compared to the 3D series. 3D series why because this is have metallic structures. So all these metallic structures are there. So this is very uh, bigger size is there. So automatically the atomic size increases automatically melting points and boiling points also.
also increases except manganese molybdenum uh, manganese technetium and technetium these are uh, different uh, different uh, melting points why because suddenly uh, down the why because this is more stable electrical configuration that is uh, 3d5 melting points 3d5 or means d5 d5 electrical configuration so that is a uh, manganese and uh, manganese and technetium so these are different properties anomalous properties from the anomalous different anomalous from the remaining elements what is that manganese and the technetium okay that is the about melting and boiling points about melting and boiling points and another one is the atomization another one is atomization enthalpy atomization enthalpy atomization enthalpy so atomization enthalpy means what generally all these elements all these transition elements we have to see observed in a, a, a metal in a metal means metal uh, uh, that is one of the structures so that is converted into atom that structures converted into atom we have to need some energy we have to need some energy the energy is called here atomization enthalpy atomization enthalpy so here are the y axis atomization enthalpy in kilo joules per mole in kilo joules per mole kilo joules per mole this is atomization enthalpy delta a h delta delta a h a h this is 10 power 3 kelvin this is kilo joules in kilo joules per mole kilo joules per mole and this is atomic number this is atomic number so atomization enthalpy for the transition elements here we have to see this is 3d series this is 4d series this is 5d series so atomization of enthalpies 4d series and 5d series have high enthalpies high atomization enthalpies compared to the 3d series why because why because these have these have the metallic structures that automatically that automatically the more body more metallic structures are there so that's why we need we need we need that is energy is required to atomization is more so that's why the graph upper and comparatively and comparatively 3d 3d series okay na? so these are almost all similar similar uh, uh, atomization enthalpies atomization enthalpies okay na? so atomization enthalpy also technetium and technetium technetium and manganese that is also low that is because of anomalous behavior anomalous behavior why because that had that is generally in that technetium and manganese technetium and manganese that have what is the uh, that is electron configuration is d5 so that is the most stable so that is that's why that is ex uh, except from the top and however however this atomization for the zinc cadmium and mercury and mercury this is also this is also low this is also having low melting and boiling points and low atomization enthalpies low low boiling melting and boiling points and low atomization enthalpies why because these are completely filled completely filled d orbitals completely filled d orbitals so that's why this is only when interacting with the s orbital electrons only s orbital electrons s orbital electrons involving in the bond formation and the bond dissociation so that's why this is only involving these electrons so that's why these are less or low bending and boiling points and atomization enthalpy when compared to the remaining transition elements remaining transition elements okay so you clearly understood when you read the again that the hcr test book or in your material okay now so this is also we may uh, write the some points also and uh, in our notebook okay now thank you for watching this video